Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of our 7 star Terra Raid build videos. This one's going to be a little bit different than what we normally do. It's going to be more similar to the uh, Viasaur Charizard and Blastoise video we did a while back. Where we cover a bunch of different raid bosses but only give 2 sets for each. Uh, that should make it a lot easier to process this video and build these sets out. Um, these raids are going to take place over I believe a, a couple of months over the summer is what they, they've said. Um, I'll give more more specific dates when we get to discussing the actual raid boss. Um, but we do have sets, uh, two sets for each potential or each confirmed raid boss in this video. So um, whether you're here for the uh, Pikachu, the Dondozo, or the Dragonite, this video will cover all three of those. So just maybe skip around if you're looking for one specifically. I'll clearly outline which Pokemon is for what and what we're discussing. So don't worry about that. Um, but with that being said, let's get right into discussing the actual raid bosses. Our first one here is actually going to be a rerun. This is the Terra Water type Pikachu. This one was around, I believe, in. Pokemon Day for 2023 is a while ago now. Um, I already have it, but if you guys don't, uh, you might need to build a set to be able to take it down. It is a bit of a tough raid boss. You wouldn't expect it since it's not fully evolved, but a lot of its uh, abilities and such are boosted um, by its raid boss status to make it an actual pretty difficult raid. Um, this Pokemon no notably starts with a giant Terra raid shield that lasts like the whole the whole match, is, if I remember correctly. Um, so you're going to be able to take care of that, and all our sets do keep that in mind, so don't worry. Of course, Pikachu's original typing is the electric type, and its hair type is going to be water, as I said before, to kind of mimic that surfing Pikachu thing they always go for. Um, you'll see that in its moveset here. This is its confirmed moveset, assuming it's the same Pikachu's last time as the exact moveset it ran. Play Rough and Iron Tail are very good coverage moves. Thunder, Surf, and Rain Dance are really going to be what make this Pokemon great. Um, setting up a Rain Dance and using Surf is what this Pokemon does before you can even attack, so you need Pokemon that are able to live that, and don't worry, our sets are. Of course, to make this Pikachu even stronger, it's holding its signature item known as the Light Ball, which um, improves its special and physical attack stats. It's going to be doing slightly more damage, and Lightning Rod is going to be its ability, which means this Pokemon can't be hit by Electro-type moves. Don't worry, uh, we're not using any Electro-type moves. I wasn't planning on it in the first place. Um, as a pure water type, this Pokemon is going to be weak to the grass and electric types, but again, electric won't do anything because of that lightning rod ability, so we're really aiming at that grass type weakness there. This Pikachu is going to be in raids from July 12th to July 25th, so about two weeks, a little bit less. Um, of course, this is a rerun. I believe if you already have Pikachu, you're not going to be able to get a second. So I apologize for that. Um, but just in case you missed out on it the first time, here it is. It's coming back. It's going to be a cool Pokemon to grab. And again, it still is going to be a difficult raid boss, despite the fact that it's not fully evolved Pokemon. So I definitely recommend building one of our sets that we'll get to a bit later. With that being said, let's move on to our second raid boss. Um, that's going to be, I believe, directly after the Pikachu. Yes. We've got uh, Dondozo here. Dondozo is going to be the water type originally, and its terror type is going to be water. It's going to be copying the same thing. Dondozo does have three very, very good abilities with Unaware, Oblivious, and Water Veil. I believe the one it's probably going to run is Unaware, because that means it won't uh, acknowledge your defense boost when it's attacking you, which can be pretty bad. Um, our sets, keep that in mind, you know, we're, we're, we're going to be all right, but... Uh, you know, just kind of remember that. Water Veil also is a pretty good ability that I could see them running on this. Of course, that makes it so it can't be burned. Um, but realistically, none of our sets are trying to burn it anyway. So if it runs Water Veil, it's not going to change anything. Now, notice this signature move is Order Up. So I definitely think they're going to run that, even though it's not going to have that Tatsugiri in its mouth, as far as I'm aware. Um, Heavy Slam and Wave Crash are also very good moves on this Pokemon, as well as Double Edge for that high damage output. I could see this thing setting up with Curse uh, one or two times early on in the match, or maybe once its Terra Shield goes up. So I thought I'd throw it up there. Liquidation is a great water type move that won't have that, uh, what's it called, negative effect that is recoil of Wave Crash. And Crunch and Stopping Tantrum are also very good coverage options. Rock Slide and Body Press improve this Pokemon's coverage. Um, and Body Press also interacts with Curse very well, making you do a lot more damage. I forgot to put it up here, but this Pokemon does also get Ice Fang, which can throw a wrench into some of your plans if you're planning to use that Grass type in its week too. Um, but again, it's also weak to Electric type, so we, we keep that in mind when we're building our Pokemon. I don't think we actually have a Grass counter for this, so Electric is how we're hitting this Pokemon. Uh, this seven star Dondozo is going to be in raids from July 26th, so right after the Pikachu, up to August 8th. So if you're looking forward to that, I I'm really honestly looking forward to this. I think the seven star Dondozo is going to be really fun. It's normally a pretty bulky Pokemon, um, but with proper setup and like team composition, it should be all right to take down, um, even with that curse. Dondozo does have a pretty low defense stat, or excuse me, special defense stat, which is how we're planning on hitting it. So don't worry about that. Um, but I definitely recommend hitting this thing from the special side if you decide to build your own sets. Moving on to our final raid boss of this video, we have got, hold on, I gotta pull it up, it is Dragonite. <laughs> Dragonite, of course, is the dragon and flying Pokemon. Um, it's terror type that it's going to run is normal, which is very interesting, because that's actually uh, Dragonite's most common competitive terror type, as far as I'm aware. That's at least the set I've run. You want terror normal, you want extreme speed, which is why that is the first thing up there. I feel like that's what they're going for with this, is the extreme speed. Um, Dragonite, of course, has the inner focus and multi-scale abilities. Both of them are pretty good. I'd say multi-scale is probably better 
Um, but extreme speed is probably going to be on that list. Just, you know, to fit that whole uh, Terra normal. This Pokemon also gets Dragon Rush, Earthquake, and Stone Edge, which are great coverage options. Of course, Dragon Rush taking advantage of that stab. Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, and Aqua Tail are also very good options for coverage, as well as Aerialist taking advantage of that stab again. I could definitely see this Pokemon setting up with the Dragon Dancer too early on, and then maybe also having Brick Break to break screens. Um, I don't really think it's going to have Brick Break, but I thought I'd throw it up there just in case. This Pokemon also does get Iron Head, which we took, kept in mind while building our sets, so keep an eye out for that just in case. Maybe uh, wait around to see if it's built before you decide to build your own thing. This Pokemon's going to be in Terra Raids from August 23rd to September 1st. So a little bit after that on Dozo, there's actually a, a, a couple weeks of Gimme Ghoul raids in there. So if you're not worried about that, don't worry about it. Just, you know, prep for the Dragonite for when that comes around. With that being said, though, let's get right into our sets. We've got two for each Pokemon here. I'll clearly outline what Pokemon is for each raid boss while we're going over it, so don't worry about that. But our first one here, which is for the Terra Water Pikachu, is going to be Superior. And you'll notice something a little interesting about this Pokemon's Terra type. We'll get to that in just a second. Um, its type is going to be the Grass type, and Terra type, again, is going to be the Stellar type, which is a bit uncommon. You're going to want to give it the Shell Bell Held item. And if any of you have done plenty of raids out, you'll probably know what we're going for here with Superior. The Superior is going to run Light Screen and Reflect to take care of both of Pikachu's uh, out damage output options. Um, this Pikachu does have both Special and Physical moves, so you kind of need both of those just in case. But then you're going to want Terra Blast and Leaf Storm. And you might be asking why both. Um, for, we'll get to that in just a second. Its ability is going to be Contrary, which is incredibly important for this build. You want this Pokemon to reverse the stat changes to set on it, um, because Leaf Storm does... It's like Draco Meteor. It lowers your special attack by two stages, but if you have Contrary, it boosts it by two stages. So by the time you get three Leaf Storms off, you'll be a plus six, assuming Pichu hasn't cleared your stat boost. The only reason we have Terra Blast on there is because Leaf Storm has a very low power point value. Um, you might get through your eight Leaf Storms pretty early on, and in that case, Terra, Terra Blast is similar. Um, you're still doing super effective damage because the Pichu will be Terra, um, and it lowers your special attack by one stage, but... In contrary, it boosts it by one, so Leaf Storm is just objectively better, but you'll probably run out of Leaf Storm pretty fast because of that. When it comes to its EVs, you're going to max out HP, max out Special Attack, and I put the last little bit into Defense to be able to take those hits from Pikachu better. Um, Iron Tail and Play Rough are both neutral to Superior, while both Thunder and uh, Surf are resisted, which is why I put them into Defense instead. Um, and again, when it comes to IVs, everything matters except Attack, and you're going to have this thing to be a modest nature to increase its damage output to the maximum potential. Moving on to our next Pokemon for the 7-star Pikachu, we've got a bit of a fun one here. We've got Claude Sire. Claude Sire is a very cute Pokemon. I very much like its design. Um, its original typing is going to be the Poison and Ground typing, and its hair type is, of course, going to be the Ground type as well. You're going to want to give it the Black Sludge Held item, and you might be asking why we want Terra Ground in this Pokemon when Pikachu has water moves. There it is, the Water Absorb ability. Uh, water Absorb makes it so this Pokemon actually heals when taking water damage instead. So it's a very good uh, defensive option, and you'll see that when it comes to its moves. This Pokemon is not meant to deal a lot of damage. However, this Pokemon paired alongside with Superior or two can deal a ridiculous amount of damage as a team. Earth Power is its main damage output if you need to start dealing damage for whatever reason if your team's really close, but I really recommend just pressing your other moves, those being Acid Spray, Mudslap, and Chilling Water. You probably won't need to press Mudslap a whole lot, especially if the Pikachu is spamming Thunder, because in rain, Thunder is 100% accurate no matter what. Um, so if you notice that it's raining and the Pikachu's uh, inclined to press Thunder, maybe stay away from the Mudslap, but I thought I'd throw it on there too, just in case. Acid Spray is a great way to lead with this Cloud Sire, especially with those Superior. If you can take down Pikachu's Special Defense while that Superior is getting boosts, you can like exponentially do an insane amount of damage to this Pikachu with those Leaf Storms. Chilling Water is also a great option if you notice that Pikachu's doing a lot of damage with its physical moves to your teammates. You, on the other hand, will not be taking a whole lot of physical damage. That's the or any damage really at all. Pikachu can't actually hit you with its special moves at all with this Claude Sire set. So you're going to want to invest solely in defense. Um, you're going to want to max it out, max out HP, and put the last little bit just into special attack, because why not? Using that, if you notice you're still taking a lot of damage from those Iron Tails, which is going to be the only thing Pikachu is probably going to be hitting you with, you can press a Chilling Water or two and you're probably fine. Or Mud Slap, because Iron Tails are really low accuracy. I think it's like 70 or 75%. Um, so this Clod Sire really will stick on the field. Your whole purpose on the field as this Clod Sire is to nerf that Pikachu into the ground and use your tears to upgrade your team. You will not solo this Pikachu with this Clod Sire. I want to make that very clear. However, this Clod Sire is a fantastic defensive core for your team. Um, when it comes to IVs, everything matters except attacks. You don't care what that value is, and you're going to give this thing the bold nature, which is plus defense and minus attack. Moving on to our next Pokemon, which is actually for another raid boss. We have the Terra Water Dondozo, and this is a bit of a fun one. You know, I've never built this Pokemon for anything before, so I kind of wanted to try this out. So I hope this works. We've got the Pokemon 
E electros, that's what it is. I almost said electric, which is pre-evolution. Um, it's normally electric type, and terror type is going to reflect that, which makes it nice and easy to go catch. You don't need to spend any terror shards. A um, metal dynamite is going to be the shell bell, but let's get over to its moves. This Pokemon is going to be running um, a very fun move set. We've got Acid Spray on there to you know build up your Terra just in case. Thunderbolt's going to be your main damage output, and Charge Beam is also on there in case you notice your team is already covering Acid Spray in some other form, and you don't need to worry about it. Press the Charge Beam; it'll help you get to Terra. It has a seventy percent chance to boost your special attack as well, so it's not guaranteed, but it's pretty high. Um, Sunny Day is on there as well, just in case Sandozo goes for a Rain Dance or something similar. Even if it doesn't. That sunny day will make the Dondozo's water type moves hit way less hard, which is super, super nice. Um, I probably recommend leading with Acid Sprays, and then if you notice your team doesn't need that going for Charge Beam, because Acid Spray uh, takes Dondozo's attack or special defense down by two, while Charge Beam only has the chance to bring you up by one. So Acid Spray is probably your most uh, important way to get to Terra. Once you get to that Terra, um, assuming Dondozo is at negative six with uh, special defense or whatever, you're going to be doing a lot of damage with that Thunderbolt and that Charge Beam if you want to go to that. Uh, Electros' ability levitates really good here because Dondozo does actually get access to Earthquake. I think I've, I think I mentioned that. Um, in case I didn't, now you know. Um, so having or er, er, levitate makes it so your Earthquake won't actually hit you, which is very nice. Electros, of course, the only Pokemon without any weakness. There's a, a fun fact for you um, if you take its ability into account, of course. When it comes to its stats, you want to max out HP, max out special attack, and I put the last little bit into defense. That's probably the best place to put it. I mean, IVs, everything matters except your attacks that you don't care what that value is, and you want this thing to be the modest nature, um, which is plus special attack and minus attack. Moving on to our next Pokemon for the 7-star Dondozo. Again, 7-star Dondozo is this set. <laughs> we just want to make sure that's super clear. We've got Quagsire here. Quagsire, of course, is the water and ground Pokemon. Its Terra type is going to be grass, which is a little different. You probably don't really need that in case you don't want to spend the Terra Shards. Water or ground Terra is fine, because realistically, this thing doesn't need to Terra. It's, again, a defensive Pokemon. It's very similar to Clodsire, actually. Its hold enemy is going to be the Leftovers. I think I forgot to mention with Clod Clodsire, it's the Black Sludge, which is like Leftovers for Poison types. But with Quagsire, it's going to be the leftovers. Um, but let's get over to its moves. We've got uh, another support focus set here. We've got Terra Blast as your main damage output. If for whatever reason your team needs the support towards the end of the game, you can Terrastalize and press that Terra Blast option to start dealing some grass type damage. Chilling Water and Acid Spray are on here. And Mud Slap, again, it's very similar to the Clodsire, um, to help you not only get to your Terra if you, for whatever reason, need it, but to help your team. Against Ondozo, Chilling Water is probably a pretty good option. Lowering its attack set is pretty nice. Um, and if your team is attacking it, Acid Spray, if your team is attacking it specially with either the Electros or any other set, Acid Spray is going to do a ridiculous amount by not only getting you near Terra, but lowering the opponent's special defense by two stages. Mud Slap's actually pretty good here. Dondozo doesn't have any sure hit moves as far as I'm aware. Um, so if your team's taking a lot of damage and you don't know any way to fix it, like Chilling Water won't do enough or whatever, you can press a few Mud Slaps and hope that your team gets lucky with some misses. Water Absorb is pretty pivotal on this Pokemon. It makes it so it won't take any damage from those water moves that Dondozo is throwing out, like Wave Crash, which is very nice. Um, when it comes to stats, you want to max out HP, max out defense, and put the last little bit in a special attack. Its nature is going to be bold as well, which is plus defense and minus attack. And when it comes to IVs, everything matters except attack. This uh, set is very, very similar to the Clodsire set we went over earlier in the video. Um, so if you know you liked how Clodsire ran, Clodsire is probably a pretty good option for the Dondozo for you. Clodsire, of course, is for the Pikachu. So you you know, you get some time to play with it. You can see if you like the Clodsire, uh, Clodsire strategy. And if you do, maybe build the, Clod or the Quagsire for the Dondozo. Moving on to the next raid boss, of course, we've got Primarina for... What's it? The Dragonite. The, the Seven Star Dragonite. That's what it is. These next two sets are for the Seven Star Dragonite. I'll say that over and over again. Don't worry. Of course, Primarina is the Water Fairy Pokemon. You can get it in the Blueberry Academy DLC on the little coastal uh, coastal biome on the beach. It's not super rare, so I was able to go pick one up before this. And it was actually female, which is cool, too. I think that's actually moderately uncommon. Um, Water and Fairy is going to be its typing, and Terra type is going to be Ghost. That's not super important either. It might help you out, but realistically, it's not a big deal if you can't get that. Light Clay is going to be its held item. You'll see why in just a second when we get over to its moves. Reflect is this Pokemon's real big thing. The, pressing that Reflect button can make it so the Dragonite's not doing a lot of damage. Dragonite does have a considerably higher uh, physical attack stat than Special, so I definitely expect this thing to be physical, and that Reflect will help you out. If for whatever reason it is Special, you can switch that out for uh, a Light Screen and change its Defense Investment over to Special defense, defense Investment. It's not a big deal, but I definitely am expecting to see the physical Dragonite. Haze also helps in case that Dragonite sets up a few Dragon Dances. Clear the stat boost, great way to do it. Then set up a Reflect and start pressing some Chilling Waters to not only get you to your Terra for whatever reason you need it, but also to lower the Dragonite stack stat, which will be very useful to your team. Life Dew is used in case you're out of Heal Cheers and you start start noticing your team's taking a few hits. 
press that, bring you and your team up a little bit when it comes to HP. Maybe if Reflect's already down, press that, and then start pressing Chilling Waters again to make sure the Dragonite can't deal a lot of damage. This is a fantastic support Pokemon. Its ability is going to be Torrent solely because its other ability, Sparkling Ari. No, that's its... What's it? Liquid Voice, that's what it is. It doesn't really do anything at all, like, at all with this set. Torrent doesn't do a whole lot, but it does kind of help with Chilling Water. It boosts it somewhat, so... Um, when it comes to its stats, you're going to max out HP, max out defense, and put the last little bit in a special attack. Uh, when it's nature, it's going to be bold, which is, again, plus defense and minus attack. Until then, as I said, is going to be the light clay, which will make your reflect last a little longer, which I'm sure your team will appreciate. Um, it's IVs. Again, everything matters except attack. Uh, but let's move on to our final Pokemon of the video. We've got the second build for the seven star dragon. We've got iron hands here. I'm sure plenty of you have an iron hands built already for just any sort of raid. Iron Hands, of course, the Fighting Electric Pokemon, its Terror type is going to be fighting. Uh, you're going to get the Scope Lens Held item, which was calculated to be the most efficient uh, held item for this Pokemon and specifically this set. The set we're going to run is, the, of course, the Drain Punch set. Uh, I don't know why I have Thunder Punch on there. I'm going to take that off. Instead of Thunder Punch, you're going to want to do Electric Terrain. Here, we can do that real quick, actually. I think I have an Electric Terrain TM. Hope I do. Again, you're going to give it... Yeah, I do. You're going to give it Electric Terrain because I'm expecting to see a lot of other Iron Hands on the field with that move. There you go. You get to see me... Trying to build a Pokemon. That's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> you're going to give this thing. Drain Punch is going to be its highest damage dealing output. Um, and Electric Train, you don't need Thunder Punch at all. So Electric Train is the way to go with this Pokemon in case you have other Iron Hands. So that all of you can get a nice big attack boost. It'll help your whole team setting that up early on. Focus Energy, if you're especially if you're the only Iron Hands, is your turn one. You press Focus Energy and that boosts your critical hit ratio. And with the Scope Lens, it's almost guaranteed that you'll get a critical hit with those Drain Punches, which is super huge. Belly Drum, if you notice you can take a hit, will incredibly increase your damage output but dragonite does hit hard you're really going to need to feel feel around and see if you can afford to press a belly drum you might want to throw up a defense to your first just in case um if you have a good support on your team you'll probably be fine even if the dragonite has some things that can deal a lot of damage um but really be careful about pressing belly drum it's a super dangerous move to press even on this bulky pokemon you need to be very careful and selective about when you press it focus energy and electric train are much easier to just set up um, you immediately get the thing. You don't get any drawback. Pork Drive, of course, is this Pokemon's only ability. And when it comes to its stats, you're going to max out HP, max out attack, and put the last little bit in a special defense. Its nature is going to be adamant, which is plus attack and minus special special attack. And of course, when it comes to IVs, everything matters except special attack. This Pokemon will, I think, drill through uh, Dragonite. It won't be even close, especially with proper support, so I definitely recommend building this set if you have access to Iron Hands. Otherwise, the Premier works well, too. Or I'm sure there's some other sets out there that I didn't really look into too much, so... If you guys are looking forward to all three of these 7-star raids, make sure to uh, build one of these sets to make sure you can take them out and get that on Rival Pokemon. I'm very much looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. And again, thank you guys so much for watching this 7-star raid build video, and I hope you guys have a good day.